make the moon, first of all I'm going to hide the earth, click on the eye icon and the outliner window, add mesh UV sphere, press S to scale followed by 0.5 and enter, drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window and make the new window a UV image editor window. In the image menu, open image, go to the folder where you've got your moon surface image, select it and open it. For unwrapping the sphere, make sure you're in front orthogonal view. The view does affect the unwrapping. Go into edit mode. In the mesh menu, UV unwrap, sphere projection. In the view menu, toggle full screen. Press S to scale followed by X for the X direction and stretch that so that the map is the same width as the image. Press G to grab followed by X for the X direction and move that to match the mapping to the image. In the view menu, toggle full screen. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the UV image editor window. Go into object mode, turn shading to smooth, Name the sphere Moon and set its X location to 3 blender units. It hasn't disappeared, it's just gone off the screen. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and click the eye icon in the outliner window to redisplay the Earth. If I click the play button, the Earth rotates but the Moon is static. I can add keyframes to the Moon to make it rotate, but is there any way to use the Earth's keyframes with the Moon? and there is. Drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. Make the new window a dope sheet window. Change the mode from dope sheet to action editor. Select the earth. Now when we inserted keyframes, Blender automatically created an action called sphere action. I'm going to rename that earth spin. Select the moon Click the Browse Action button, select the Earth Spin, and now that action has been linked to the Moon so that when I press play, both spin. They both spin at the same speed. To make the Moon spin at a different speed, click the Create New Action button, rename the new action Moon Spin. Pan, drag with the middle mouse button, zoom in with the mouse wheel. With the second keyframe selected, press G to grab and move that so that the moon spins faster. Press play and the moon spins at a different speed to the earth. The moon can be made to orbit the earth very easily by simply making the earth the parent of the moon. Now when I press play, the moon orbits the earth but the orbital rotational speed is exactly the same as the Earth's rotational speed. To have a different orbital spin speed, we need a third object. Again, I'm going to hide the Earth and add an empty. I'm going to click the Browse Action button and link the Earth spin to the empty. I'm going to click the Create New Action button and name the new action Orbit Spin. And I'm going to grab the second keyframe and move that so that the empty spins faster. Select the moon and set its parent to be the empty. Reshow the earth and press the play button. We now have the earth spin speed, the moon spin speed and the orbital spin speed all different. I have UV mapped the Earth sphere to the Earth image, but I haven't set up the material. I'm dragging to make the properties window wider and I'm going to click the material button. Add a new material, call the new material Earth. Click the textures button. Add a new texture. You should give the new texture a meaningful name. Change the type to image. And in the preview, click both to see what's going on. Scroll down click the Browse Image button and select the Earth image. Click the Pack button if you want to pack the image into the Blender file. 
and change coordinate to UV. You must do exactly the same for the moon. Finally, I'm going to look at a problem with the UV mapping. I'm dragging on the white diagonal lines to close the dope sheet window. I'm dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I'm zooming in with the mouse wheel. I'm going to go into edit mode and into face select mode. Now, the poles of a sphere are always going to be a problem with UV mapping where the distortion caused by flattening the sphere is the greatest and this face is a particular problem. Drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. Make the new window a UV image editor window. Now the face is quite small on the sphere but it distorts to being very large on the mapping. So I'm going to press S to scale to shrink it down. I'm going to press S to scale followed by X to shrink it in the X direction. I'm going to press G to grab followed by Y to move it up a bit. Now the mapping isn't perfect but the face doesn't stand out anymore. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the UV image editor window. Go back into object mode. I'm going to end the tutorial there. I'll put the image files and the finished blender file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.